Hi guys, so in addition to my previous video, I'd like to show you one more option for winter vacation in Japan. Actually, both of these places, Monkey Park and this place, are really close, so I visited this one the next day. Except, for in winter, the mountain route between these two cities are closed because of snow and its danger, so you need to take a loop to move between them, but it's still pretty much quick, just a few hours. So this city is called Kusatsu of Gunma Prefecture, Japan. It is also basically mountains with onsens in it, but in a way more luxurious one. The hotels are more expensive and usually people with good income comes here. But because of Corona, I get to stay here as well. But the hotel experience is awesome, with natural onsen in it, I'll tell later in the video. Also, this city has a ski resort, pretty much famous one, so if you are a big fan of ski, you can stay here and spend a few days. So, Kusatsu Onsen is one of Japan's most famous hot springs resorts. Actually, it is one of the top three in Japan. There is Gero, Kusatsu and Arima Onsen. Haven't been in the last one yet. The city is very small. It has active volcano, Kusatsu Shirane, and inactive one, Mount Tengu, which is used for ski resort that is more than 90 years old with very good snow quality. And these volcanoes are the reason there is a lot of onsen with sulfuric and acidic green water. It is actually one of the main sites of the city. The water flows directly through the middle of the city. You can see how much green it is and it stinks a lot. Really strong smell of sulfur. The hot springs are so much, so that water is used also for heating the city's schools, streets and households during the winter. There is a ashi and hand wash with ansen water in the city as well, people can use it for free. These hot springs are said to help cure huge amount of diseases. In the city itself, you can visit Yumomi performance, which is a century-old method to cool down onsen water without diluting it with cold water and thus weakening its special qualities. It is on schedule, which I didn't know and haven't visited, but it should be fun. They do it with huge wooden paddles, short but interesting performance. Also, you can visit Sainokawara Park, which I liked, beautiful place. It has onsen in it as well, which anyone can visit for only 600 yen, a little more than 4 dollars. There is also a lot of ashiyu in it, for free, if you want to use it. Or you can enjoy a ski resort in the city, 
if you into it or even visit mountain Sherane, the active volcano with acidic green waters on the top. There is tons of hotels, ryokans, throughout the city. I've stayed in two. One was complete disaster, ruined last day of vacation for us. But first one was so good that I have only good memories of this place. And that one I'd like to recommend everyone who is going to visit Kusatsu. It's new, was opened on September 2021. It looks really good, as you can see. Pleasant interior, cute rooms, and tons of services. I've stayed in a few hotels of this brand. It's called Koditsu Resort, and I'm satisfied with every one of them. The hotel's name is La Vista Kusatsu Hills. Let me tell you more about it. So it has onsen in it with natural water. The room itself is very nice, clean, smells good, has a few rooms in it, actually it's bigger than apartment that I believe in. My room had its own private onsen in it. Small, more like a wooden bath, but still awesome. Also a public bath with nice design and interior. Can't show it inside though on a video, because it's forbidden to shoot in onsen. There's also a cute yukata that you can choose and where during your stay. But what is more awesome is that there is four Kashikiriburo, which is private rental onsen. All of them have its own unique design and are completely free. It is actually very rare, usually Kashikiriburo cost 3000 yen, about $25, for 45 minutes. The stone one, wooden one, all with breathtaking view, very clean and new. Chilling in this onsen, looking on falling snow, is quite a pleasure.
In our trip, it was a second destination with onsens in it in a row. And I love onsens, so I spend hours in water every day. And water here is very strong. So by the end of vacation, my skin was itchy. So be careful with hot springs if you visit here. Isn't it awesome? But that's not all. When you get out of this onsen, there is an ice cream in the evening or milk, even flavored milk in the morning waiting for you. Everything is free as well. Also a free drink vending machine in addition to water and tons of sweets in your room. Hotel offers a great dinner and breakfast. My wife loved the dinner. It was great atmosphere and overall experience. The dinner was Russian cuisine with a touch of French, so much so I can't say it was Russian cuisine at all. But it was very nice. And the breakfast is Japanese style buffet. Again, everything is super tasty. In addition to it, you can order a coffee to your room that you need to make yourself. It's tasty and a lot of fun making it. Starting with grinding beans. So yeah, kind of interesting. Again, all the services are free, no additional cost, just check in and have fun. The stay here cost us 37,000 yen for two with dinner and breakfast included. The views outside the hotel looks great in day and night. The link to the city and to the hotel are in description. The hotel that was awful is called Kusatsu Nao Resort Hotel. My advice is to stay away from it because we paid twice the price and had 10 times worse time there. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and leave your comments.